Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Muson Kim, Director General of Hira International Corporation Department. I'm both happy and sad today. I'm happy because I got a chance to meet you all and able to share our experiences in responding to COVID-19 of Korea. On the other hand, I'm sad because I'm, I can only able to meet you through online instead of in person. However, I'm going to start my presentation, hoping that I can meet everyone in person in the near future. From now on, I will explain what Hira has done to respond to the COVID-19 and what would be the implication of Hira's role. What I would like to share first today is Korea's COVID-19 status, second, Korea's NHI, and third, who Hira is and what Hira does. These three elements will be handled more deeply from tomorrow in the training session, so don't be sorry. And the rest of the time, I will be introducing what Hira has done to better respond to the COVID-19 in terms of quickening the test and treatment and risking the risk of spread. First of all, I will briefly introduce Korea's status regarding the COVID-19. COVID-19 has known to have relatively no severe symptoms, but virus emission rate is high in early stages, so it easily and quickly spreads within community. And it could cause a severe result, especially to vulnerable groups such as elderly and patients with chronic illnesses. In case of Korea, after the first case was confirmed on January 20th, 2020, there was a large-scale infection within a religious group in Daegu area. Because of the uncooperative response to the religious group and their continuous gatherings, the daily number of newly confirmed cases once soared to more than 90 hundreds. Since then, the daily number of confirmed cases has been continuously decreased to a single digit that Korea was praised by the world for its excellent response to COVID-19. However, there were two crises of group infection in the Itaewon club in mid-May and in religious group around the time of Korea Liberation Day in August 15. Currently, through the cooperative efforts of the organizations such as KDCA, Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, Ministry of Health and Welfare, HIRA, local governments of and people, the daily confirmation number is again showing two-digit numbers. Although we were fortunate to see two-digit confirmed numbers, we do not know when such crisis will occur again. The confirmation rate was able to decrease from the three-digit to two-digit due to an efforts to thoroughly examine and quarantine all infection risk the people and people's active cooperation to government institutions. As of September 29th, 2020, a cumulative confirmed case are 2300, uh, no, no, 23,699. The upper graph indicates daily confirmed cases and the graph below shows the number of people who are released from quarantine by day. As the number of daily released cases from quarantine appears to be a large number than the daily confirmed cases, it can be seen that corona treatment bed in Korea remains stable. 
the fatality rate is 1.72 percent. It is believed that this low fatality rate is because Korea have tested every possible cases and detected every infected case so that the positive confirmation rate is as low as 1%. By gender, the incidence rate is a little higher in females. However, the fatality rate is much higher in male group. By age, the incidence rate is higher in the 20s, 50s, and 60s. However, the fatality rate increases with age. So the fatality rate in 80s and over is 21.24%. From now on, I'd like to explain the characteristics of Korean healthcare system to help you. Understand in terms of HIRA's role in responding to COVID-19. Since 2000, Korea has been operating single-payer health insurance system called National Health Insurance, NHI. It covers the entire population with all essential services. So healthcare services for COVID-19 are also covered by NHI. In general, we have 20% of co-payment. However, the government pays for the OOP payment for the COVID-19 cases. The cases include confirmed case, contact case, and suspected case. Therefore, technically speaking, all the tests and treatments for the COVID-19 are provided for free. More than 90% of Korean healthcare institutions are private sector, but due to the obligatory authorization system on the provider side and mandatory subscription on the population side, all the healthcare institutions and the population are under the NHI system. In addition, Patients are able to choose healthcare institutions without any restrictions. Lepers are required to visit tertiary hospitals. However, for the COVID-19 patient, a leper is not required. Instead, COVID-19 designated hospitals or infection treatment designated hospitals are operating. Hospitals with negative pressure, isolation rooms are also managed separately. We adopted fee-for-service as a major payment system and utilized high-end ICT to operate the system. As Mr. Lee, president of HIRA Research Institute, already explained this slide, and let's move on to the next page. This picture shows how HIRA is closely related with other major stakeholders within the NHI system and what the ultimate goals is in each relationship. HIRA cooperates with healthcare providers and encourages them to improve healthcare quality and makes efforts to achieve patient safety. HIRA provides various information, data, and data analysis results for the policymakers to come up with better healthcare policies. And lastly, put the best efforts for the payer, the insurer, not to be suffered from financial difficulties. Evidence-based measurable data is in place at the bottom of these efforts, and the method is basically value-based strategic purchasing. HIRA conducts three major roles. HIRA performs rulemaking, such as benefit listing, 
procedure and material pricing, setting standards for medical procedures, drugs, and supplies. The other role is monitoring and feedback, such as claims review, quality adjustment, on-site investigation, DUR, medical fee verification, and healthcare big data analysis. The last role is infrastructure management, such as drug distribution management and healthcare resource management. And here I actively utilize IT, ICT system to conduct these functions efficiently. I will go back to the COVID-19 again on January 27th, 2020, after seven days from the first case was confirmed. Korean government increased the infection disease risk level from yellow to orange and established an operated central disaster management headquarters, which have the minister of MOHW as the head of the center. Basically, central disaster management headquarters is established in red level based on the manual. But to respond to COVID-19 crisis, the government increased it to orange level, which means that the government response was timely and proper compared to MERS in 2015. When Korea hit the second largest infection cases in the world, in addition, according to the rapid spread of the infection on February 23rd, 2020, the government adjust the risk level as lead and central disaster and safety countermeasure headquarters, which have the prime minister as the head of the center, was established for pan-governmental response with single line of command. The local governments established local disaster and safety countermeasure headquarters to respond to COVID-19 as conducting reports, tests, quarantine, etc. This slide shows infection control system of Korean government responding to the COVID-19 as a whole. There are entry prevention, respond to confirmed cases, early patient detection, treatment of COVID-19 patients, treatment of non-COVID-19 patients, and resource securing and support. A seamless of cooperation among government departments, local governments, and public organizations was one of the most important factors that could make the crisis least life-threatening and least burdensome. Uh, disclosure of every information in a prompt and transparent manner and giving information to the public are also a relief factor for the public not to be panicked in their daily lives. The government has also made a lot of efforts to compensate for people who are under treatment or isolation. Small business owners and healthcare ins institutions and healthcare workers are also considered. So, from now on, I will introduce how HERA has supported the government in terms of controlling and treating the infection based on these six criteria. HERA's key actions are divided into four categories based on HERA's major roles. The contents are composed of setting better pay criteria and pricing, monitoring, health resources management, and lastly, disclosure of information. The first is to decide which test should be listed, and the price is also fixed for the test. Medicine and treatments go through the same process. In particular, 
COVID-19 has a characteristic to spread within a community quickly, so the speedy test and diagnosis was important. Therefore, KCDC received the COVID-19 genetic sequence from China and developed test reagents themselves in the middle of January, even before the first case was confirmed in Korea. Private companies have submitted their reagents since January 28th, and Korea FDA has authorized private companies' reagents since February 5th using emergency use authorization, which prepared after we have had experienced MERS crisis in 2015. Hira rapidly reviewed it and determined it as an existing technology on February 5th. And Hira received the application of new technology to be listed. And the first step is to decide whether the service is totally new or existing. So anyway, MOHW made a notification that the use of the agent had been an existing technology on February 6th, and healthcare institutions could use it from the next day, which was February 7th. Basically, medical procedure listing process takes 140 days from submission to listing in case of existing procedure. However, thanks to the cooperation of related ministries and quick review of HERA. In this case, we, re we reduced the listing period to 10 days for COVID-19 test reagents. 140 days are reduced to just 10 days. So from February 7th, we could conduct large-scale tests with the reagent and 27,000 diagnostic tests could be processed a day. Although daily confirmed cases has been decreased recently due to an increase of COVID-19 patient with unclear infection route, a full-time or a full-scale examination are conducted to those who are exposed to the infection in addition even if there are no sampling infection of confirmed cases, some facilities groups are selected. For an examination such as a long-term care hospital and the personnel from the hospital, etc., if necessary. For example, we conduct total examination on pneumonia patients, people who are being hospitalized in long-term care or a psychiatric hospital and sample infection in areas where there have been group infections such as Daegu, Gyeongbuk province, region and metropolitan area, etc. COVID-19 drug benefit standard was also amended quickly. COVID-19 treatment medicines were covered by NHI originally. However, those were not for the COVID-19. This means that it had not been authorized to COVID-19 patients. So we need to change the benefit standards. Basically, benefit standard amendment for listed drug takes 80 days. The time for the literature and committee review for medical feasibility, replaceability, and cost effectiveness, and takes 20 more days to gather ex experts and public opinion through public administrative pre-announcement. So it takes 100 days in total. However, it was reduced to 10 days to review the expert opinions 
from the association of infectious diseases by skipping the public administrative pre-announcement. In addition, we newly established infection prevention and management fee to ensure healthcare providers to be compensated. It helps to enhance healthcare institutions' infection prevention functions and helps to secure the number of healthcare institutions participating in treating COVID-19 patients. In particular, COVID-19 severe acute emergency care center fee was established to prevent the occurrence of healthcare institutions that are not accepting severe emergency patients suspected of being in infected with COVID-19. As they concerns about the closure of the emergency room, delayed resumption of operation and infection inside the emergency room cases that regard to the spread of COVID-19 to community level. Monitoring is another role of HERA. At ordinary times, HERA monitors appropriate aims of healthcare services using claims data from healthcare institutions. However, we additionally conducted COVID-19 patient management, infection risk management, and claims status management to respond to the COVID-19. Due to the rapid increase in the number of COVID-19 patients, data error or miscommunication was possible, which could cause public distrust. And that is fatal to the government, which is in charge of setting down the crisis situation. In early February, when the infected patients had skyrocketed in Daegu area, we experienced difficulty in terms of securing ICU beds, so that HERA established COVID-19 patient management information portal system to manage COVID-19 patients, ICU beds, negative pressure beds, and facilities comprehensively. Though this unified and comprehensive system COVID-19 patients can be adequately distributed considering the severity of patients. Patients' location, facility equipment, staff, capacity and number of beds, etc. Timely and appropriate treatment was possible. And it could be used to establish government quarantine policy. In addition, to prevent absence of medical services, as COVID-19 is spreading into healthcare institutions, HERA offered patient information to healthcare providers. The information includes cross-border travel history and whether a patient had contact history with a COVID-19 in infection patient while he or she visited in another healthcare institutions. The system is called DUR and ITS. ITS is the system that could check the patient history of visiting infectious disease occurring region by linking data from KCDC and Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It was added into the UL system in 2016, right after MERS crisis. The UL system is HERA's real-time drug safety information offering system. However, the UL system was supposed to be used in prescription and disposition steps. So there was a problem of infection occurrence within in institutions. Therefore, since 
28th to block the infect infection occurrence between a patient and medical staffs. HERA established a separate ITS system to be available in reception of a patient. However, institutions using ITS system was only about 50% in January. So after, first case was confirmed. HERA put a lot of effort to increase the utilization rate of ITS system. And the rate was 99.4% as of June 19th. HERA tried to identify uninstalled healthcare institutions and support them to install the system by making phone calls and using remote support services. So installed rate was increased to 97.5% within one month. With COVID-19 as a trigger, ITS obligation registration was proposed and since March 4th, it is mandatory to provide and com confirm travel information related to in infectious diseases. In addition, HERA supports the preparation of a response policy by identifying the COVID-19 related claims and estimating the fiscal requirements. COVID-19 related claims were 187.8 billion Korean won, $161 million so far on September 29th. Next is the healthcare resource management. In the case of national disaster like COVID-19, it is very important to identify and manage healthcare resources in order to provide healthcare services continuously. HERA is able to identify the COVID-19 related resources by establishing healthcare resource integration system and estimate the demand to allocate resources to the right hospitals. Among the healthcare resources, National Safe Hospital is a hospital that treats respiratory patients separately from other patients in the entire process from visit to admission this system was created to ensure the clinical co continuity of non-COVID-19 patients. Since many cases of infection was occurred in the emergency room at the time of MERS, there was a phenomenon in which non-infected people had avoided the, the use of healthcare institutions because they had been concerned about infection in the healthcare institutions. Due to this phenomenon, patients at the time did not receive adequate healthcare services, and healthcare institutions suffered from financial difficulties. The government thought that the same phenomenon would occur because COVID-19 was also a respiratory infection disease like MERS. So the government has designated the National Safe Hospital so that people can receive treatment without worrying about COVID-19 infection. 271 hospitals are designated so far. Drugs are also managed systematically. For the COVID-19 drugs, they were approved in the early stages of the COVID-19 outbreak. The KPIS system was used to collect the inventory and supply status by items, regions, and companies from drugs manufacturer or importer to the patients. Biznet was used to collect inventory status of healthcare institutions and through the DUR system, 
the, the amount prescribed to patients was identified. Using this collected data, the current status of pharmaceuticals by institutions and regions was verified, and the number of treatable patients were estimated and drugs are distributed efficiently. The government and HERA have tried to lessen the financial burden in healthcare providers from the beginning. With the spread of the COVID-19, the cost of managing infectious diseases has increased and the number of ordinary patients has decreased. Reimbursement was made quickly even before reviewing the claimed data so that 90% of claimed money was reimbursed within a week from the submission of claims. Simplified administrative procedures were introduced to elevate administrative burdens due to the fluctuation and shortage of human resources. Sharing the data for public safety and evidence-based decision-making is one of the major roles of HERA. The information you see on the screen, such as mask reminder in pharmacies, National Safe Hospital information, and screen clinics are available. Mask stock information is no use now, because mask supply is enough since last July. HERA has accumulated and possesses data to contain and mitigate COVID-19 infection and such data can be provided in the form of open API so that public can easily access the information through various channels. Detailed claims data for every COVID-19 patient is gathered at HERA. HERA actively cooperate with international society to overcome COVID-19 crisis by disclosing the raw data to the national and international society with personal information masked. And accurate data, data analysis, and clinical evidence will help create firm social grounds that can prevent future epidemic crises. In addition to raw data, HERA provides statistical results requested by institutions at home and abroad. I mentioned MERS a few times during my presentation. The Korean government was shocked by the 2050 MERS situation. It was criticized that large hospitals were exposed to infections, resulting medical absence, and delayed initial response increased damages. In responding to the COVID-19, we picked four factors that made us to respond e effectively to the COVID-19 pandemic situation compared to the MERSIS. First is to respond in the early stages and to closely cooperate among governmental authorities. MERS Korean government held an urgent meeting and started the response to the infection after nine days from the first confirmation and many organizations were established at the same time for the, for the same purpose in some cases. It added confusion. But this time, Korean government tried to be different. The government has been operating 24-hour emergency quarantine system between central and local governments from the very beginning of the crisis and established the central disaster and safety countermeasure headquarters to cooperate between each ministry under the single command system. On HERA side, we quickly authorized the test reagents, expanded 
benefit standards for drugs and facilities and made the new fee schedules for infection management. Second is disclosure of transparent information in MERS's situation after the first case were occurred on May 20, 25th, 2050. The government tried to avoid the situation and uh, disclose uh, the list of uh, healthcare institutions where the MERS patients had visited. The government disclosed the, the information after three weeks. However, it was already many patients and already been to the healthcare institutions, but this time, right after the first case was confirmed, the government quickly delivered valid COVID-19 related information such as incidents, contact, visited uh, institutions, current number of isolation, the number of death, and possible prevention methods, etc. It contributed to reduce unnecessary fear from the public. And people can live their daily lives without much restriction and with faith in the government. Third one is ICT utilization. The, the most striking thing in, I'm sorry, the most striking thing is uh, the most striking thing in preparation for COVID-19 was the favor of ICT, monitoring, information disclosure, preparing political evidence, and everything conducted efficiently based on the existing system. And Additionally developed ICT system, we could quickly collect and provide the accurate information based on the unified ICT system linking the central and local government and healthcare institutions. Particularly according to the lessons learned from the MERS, we realized ITS system which provides patient history of visiting a risky area and rapidly expanded its use to contribute to preventing the spread of the COVID-19. Into the healthcare institutions, fourth is the preparedness for unpredictable situations. After experiencing MERS, Korea has recognized and changed many things and as a result it is, it is being called K-Health, one, one of the world's best example in responding to the COVID-19. We know COVID-19 would be not the last pandemic and moreover it is hardly expected when to be ended the current pandemic. We hope that we will be well prepared by the lessons we run each other and we will be able to prevent next crisis. Thank you very much.